Hello. So, um, this is another take of a get rid of your keloid video, um, because I get them a lot, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people do. In fact, I started Googling, or not Googling, YouTubing, uh, you know, searching YouTube, looking for other keloid videos, and <laughs> oh yes, people get them. And I thought mine were bad, but, you know, it is a problem, and I didn't know it was so much of a problem. Um, so I'm going to make this video <clears throat> showing you um, what I use, sorry I have a niche, um, to get rid of my keloids. Um, and what I use is wild, oops, wild oil of oregano. It comes in this tiny bottle. Um, and they're about 10 to thirty dollars for a slightly bigger bottle, but about for a size like this, about ten to fifteen dollars. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, that's expensive, but it lasts quite a while. So um, you can get it at any health food store, but it does last a while because you only need a very, very minimal amount because this is very, very strong. You only need a drop. So yeah, and what you do with the drop is you basically just apply it directly on the keloid. Um, what I like to also do is move it around a little bit, um, make sure it gets on the jewelry and then into the hole so it'll clean everything in there and it'll sting. Oh yes, it'll sting. And the great thing about this is you can also use it um, orally okay. and what you do for that is like if you have a lip piercing or a tongue piercing that you think might be getting infected or you just want to keep it clean or if you do feel a keloid because I have gotten a keloid in the inside of my mouth and that is extra not fun. So what you do is you take about half a glass of water not not too much just a little bit enough that you can fit in your mouth um and you put three drops in there and you swish it in your mouth um and spit it out swallow whichever i'd spit it out but you'll feel it and that'll also leave your mouth with a, and tongue with a little tingly sensation. Um, and oil of oregano is great because it's antibacterial and you want to get all the bacteria out of there because that's mainly how keloids start. It's antifungal because who wants, fungal, who wants fungus <laughs> in, their, in their face, in their piercings? Like, oh, not good. And it's also anti-inflammatory, which um, will reduce the size of the bump because, you know, it's an inflamed hypertrophic scar or what have you. But it'll decrease the swelling, which a lot of, um, which like, you know, sea salt doesn't exactly do. I mean, it'll do it because it'll, it's healing your piercing, but not as much as oregano oil because it's specifically anti-inflammatory and antifungal and antibacterial and so on and so on. So if you are developing a keloid and it's getting bigger and you don't really know what to do with it, give wild, orega give wild oregano oil a try. Um, I did, it worked for me, um, but it's really strong so you should still ask your piercer about it. Um, if you have sensitive skin, I also wouldn't recommend it. Um, maybe dilute it a bit more, but I would still ask someone about, uh, someone about it, especially if you have sensitive skin. Um, but if you don't, um, and you're getting keloids and you just want them gone, it would be something I would recommend. So, I hope that was informational, and I hope y'all got something out of it. Hopefully, if you try it, it works. So, if that does happen, please, please, please give me a video response or respond in the comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.